What's up guys, Ibra here with Hardware Connects, and when Intel launched their 750 series NVMe SSD, enthusiasts started to move away from custom-based PCIe models. It was just a matter of time for NVMe to gain momentum with the launch of Intel's first NVMe SSD, the 750 Pro, and then Samsung's 950 Pro came into the market, and now we have Toshiba and their OCZ division's latest Revo drive, or RD400, uh, that has been launched today and we will be taking a look at two variants the 512 gigabyte and the one terabyte variant to see what these nvme drives have to offer the z9 neo by zalman brings all the right features on a budget with a large windowed side panel five included fans and an excellent interior layout with super simple cable management get it now link in the description below Let's get some specs out of the way. The RD400 comes in capacities ranging from 120 gigabytes all the way up to one terabyte. OCZ claims a theoretical read speed of 2.6 gigabytes per second and a write speed of 1.6 gigabytes per second. On the 512 gigabyte version, the NAND endurance is 296 terabytes, while the one terabyte variant sports a whopping 592 terabytes. In other words, you will need to write 324 gigabytes of data every day for five years before the NAND is pushed beyond its rated durability. Price-wise, we're looking at 329 and 759 for the 512 gigabyte and one terabyte SSD respectively, and an extra $20 for the version which includes the PCIe add-in card adapter. Perhaps the most important aspect of the RD400 is its form factor. Unlike previous Revo drive models, which were essentially two or four SATA based drives crammed onto one full length PCB with a custom software RAID controller to join them together and they worked natively over the PCIe interface. This meant you absolutely needed to use an expansion slot. Not this time though. The new RD400 does rely upon a single NVMe controller. It uses a compact 2280 M.2 form factor and connects via a PCIe 3.0 X4 interface. I'm definitely installing one of these on my MSI GT72 notebook for a scratch disk. That last point needs to be discussed though. If you're actually interested in purchasing the RD400, pay special attention to your motherboard specifications. Some actually have an M.2 slot, but it may not operate with a full PCIe 3.0 X4 link speed. And for those situations, the RD400 comes with that M.2 add-in card option I mentioned earlier. The latter is simply an M.2 to PCIe X4 adapter card that allows the RD400 to plug directly into any free four lane or larger PCI slot on the motherboard. This is an excellent addition for desktops that are a bit older or which don't support the full bandwidth required over the native M.2 slots. The build quality is excellent and I love how stealthy it looks. The only minor negative issue is that there is no room on this small PCB for true enterprise grade data write protection. The RD400 is using a modified version of OZZ's firmware based Power Failure Management Plus with the help of some onboard components. In either case, what PFM Plus does is ensure data written to the NAND is secure, but any data that was in the process of being written from the RAM buffer to the NAND will be lost in the event of an unexpected power loss. All right, with all of that now behind us, let's see how well the RD400 stacks up with its competitors. The numbers do speak for themselves, as the performance is extremely good but only in certain situations. If you want the absolute fastest SSD for game loading, large file transfers, or some other operations, the RD400 is going to be one of the best options around. In many real-world tests, it was easily able to match the performance of Intel's 750 series. Whether or not the RD400 is right for you will be determined by what you intend to use it for. If game or system load times, fast access to onboard data, and the quick transfer of large data files are all critical for your enjoyment, then this will be near the top of your list. However, anyone who wants a workstation SSD is better off looking for alternatives. With the RD400, OCZ and Toshiba have succeeded in creating a drive that effectively combines high performance, a compact form factor, and a relatively reasonable price point. Don't think of it as a Revo drive as we've come to know them. Rather, known the RD400 is an excellent evolutionary step forward that perfectly needs today's expectations, it's a perfect choice for enthusiasts. 
Well, that concludes our review of the RD400. Uh, make sure to let us know what you guys think about these drives in the comment section down below. And as always, subscribe for more similar content. I'm Ebor with Hurricane X, and we'll see you in the next one.